Well, septic shock is the result of uh, invasion in the vasculature of, among other things, lipopolysaccharide. Lipopolysaccharide is, uh, comes from the walls of bacteria, especially uh, gram-negative bacteria. And it, once you have that and you are infected with that, the lipopolysaccharide produces this famous induction that we are talking about of an inflammatory reaction. But because it's happening in the whole of your vascular system, it produces a very dramatic uh, clinical uh, outcome. The most significant part of it is a very dramatic decrease in blood pressure, which had never been explained. What we know now is that the inducible nitric oxide synthase, the one that produces very large quantities of nitric oxide, which is a powerful vasodilator, it starts generating masses of nitric oxide. And the NO, which is released normally by the endothelial nitric oxide synthase and regulates our blood flow and our blood pressure physiologically, now producing large quantities, just drops the blood pressure to the point in which it has significant effects on organ perfusion and all the consequences. This is an emergency situation and the deaths from septic shock continue in the 50% range. If anybody gets septic shock, 50% of the people who get it will die because there's nothing we can do. And septic shock is increasing because People are living longer and people are having more procedures in terms of putting catheters and keeping them on infusion of things, and that's one way of getting infected. The immediate thought was, why don't we give an inhibitor of the nitric oxide synthase, LNMMA? It turned out that, indeed, a big clinical trial was organized by uh, Glaxo uh, Welcome with LNMMA, and there was, rather than protection, increased mortality. And I have always argued that the problem in septic shock is that what you have in septic shock is a mismatch circulation. You have a general vasodilation, but in some areas, the vasoconstrictor influences still predominate. So some areas are very dilated, and some areas are partially constricted at the same time. It's a mad situation. If you then give something that takes nitric oxide out, the inhibitor of nitric oxide, the areas that were vasodilated will get better, but the areas that were partially constricted will close completely. And I think the bad outcome of the trial is due to the fact that too much LNMMA was given. So in the future, I think we will come back and clinically revisit septic shock, either with inhibitors of the nitric oxide synthase giving less doses, smaller doses, or with, with the development of selective inhibitors for the inducible enzyme that will take away the inducible take away the damage, and leave the endothelial, which regulates physiologically the blood pressure. That's probably for the future.